Hey everybody, it's Paul Yokobitis from Cary State Planning back with another video as part of our 2020 video challenge. And today I'm getting ready to jump on a webinar in a little while here with the Ark of the Triangle and uh, Dave Woody from Northwestern Mutual to talk about planning ahead or future planning for special needs families. And a big topic of discussion is always third party special needs trust. So I wanted to take a couple uh, moments and explain what that is and why it's important. First and foremost, it's just a piece or a tool within a parent's estate plan, right? So special needs planning always starts with the estate planning of the parents themselves. And so the main objective is to be able to structure wealth succession in a way that's going to protect and support a beneficiary with special needs, and but also um, safeguard their eligibility for means-tested public benefits like SSI and Medicaid. And so the way that the third party trust works is it essentially names the child as its beneficiary and then the estate plan and the financial planning of the parents would essentially direct the assets to be disposed and directed to the trust instead of the child itself or himself or herself. That way, the child doesn't receive wealth outright. There is no available assets for Medicaid accountability and the assets can be used to supplement instead of replacing public benefits. The upside is that the parents can change the trust as much as they need to over the rest of their lives. They can appoint a remainder beneficiary if something happens to the, the child with special needs. They can appoint the trustees of their choosing. They could even use corporate trustees if that was appropriate. And they really have a lot more control. And it's usually a, a trust that we fund at the death of the, of the parents to make sure that the assets are only going to the trust after the parents are no longer there um, when the support is actually needed. So that ends up being a crucial component of special needs planning. It's never a one size fits all, but it's a very important tool that we use often with special needs planning. If you have specific questions about special needs planning, you can click the link below to get on our calendar. We can have a discussion about what special needs planning can look like for you. This is Paul from Cary State Planning.